Hey everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn about Copilot Studio agent creation. Uh, consider this as a beginner level hands-on lab tutorial to showcase how you can create this agent in Copilot Studio. And we are primarily going to learn two things. One, we are going to explore the agent in the Copilot Studio by learning how to create it. What are the ways you can create it uh, super high level on what is topics and how you can publish this agent. Going forward, I will add additional videos to attach on this particular series so that you will learn in-depth information about further aspect about Copilot Studio. I hope you enjoyed this one. Take care. All right, so let's go and start how to build an agent in the Copilot Studio. Go to copilotstudio.microsoft.com. Sign in with the username and password. So if you are logging into the studio for the first time, it might take some time to set things for you. If you don't have a license, um, when you get to this particular page, select a region where you want to host these services or based on where you live or closest to you and click on start free trial. So this is the console for Copilot Studio here. You can come in here and describe what type of agent you are trying to build. So if you had watched the previous video, what I made on agents at M365, you can use your natural language to define what agent are you trying to create and using that step you can create agents similarly you can take that route in the copilot studio as well if you scroll down um, you would find additional things like templates you can see that there are exploring additional agents so these are predefined agents templates you can use so if you are trying to create an agent for a q a you can pretty much start your activities from using this particular template so we will see multiple examples on that don't worry um, additional learning references or resources are available at the bottom of the screen. Here you can see how you can start your Copilot journey by understanding the security and governance, a quick start guide to help you deploy an agent, other documentations, things like that. On the left end navigation pane, you can see we are under home. Click on create to create an agent, either creating an agent using click on new agent or selecting an existing template agents button on the left hand side will show you the pre uh, not pre-built uh, already built agent within your environment flows will show all the flows you have created to either use it within agents or other flows library will show all the available connectors which you can use within your environment you can see that there are service now connectors GitHub connector, Salesforce connector, and things like that. All of it is ready to be used within this environment. If you click on this ellipsis, you can navigate to other places as well, like Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Platform Admin Center, or other integration services like Azure Cognitive Services, Azure OpenAI, etc. On the top, you can see where you are currently working on. So we are under the default environment. So when you log in for the first time, you will be put into the default environment. So think of environment as a place where you keep all your agents and it has the shared resources. You can define the access control permissions and things like that. For this agent creation demo, I'm going to use the dev1 environment. And uh, if you do get this message, this is basically showcasing you to help you understand what is Copilot Studio. If you are using for the first time, just take some time, go through this. Otherwise, you can click on skip or done. So again, the navigation pane and the look and the feel is same. Only thing what we had done now is switching the environment from the default one to the dev one. In this particular hands-on lab, I'm going to take you through steps on how you can create it. At the same time, I'm going to import a pre-built agent, which we would use a couple of times to just showcase some of the features and some of the functionalities and things like that. So let me show you how you can import an agent as well. So on the left hand side navigation, if you go under agents, here you can see that there is already a couple of agents available. One is Copilot for Microsoft 365. This is where you would be able to build agents to deploy within your Microsoft 365 Copilot, leveraging Copilot, things like that. We will learn uh, more about that in the upcoming videos or maybe we'll touch base on few things about sharing in this video to import a new agent click on import agent in the import agent there are many options available for us 
new solution import solution open app source we are going to click on import solution this allows us to uh, go and browse the location where we had actually saved it so i know in my device i saved it under lab files solution and tech excel zip file click on next and click on import you can see that currently this is importing the solution uh, it could be an app it could be anything so within this copilot studio it's going to be known as solution so what we have just now done is importing a solution from a pre-built agent what i have done so depending on the size of the agent it might take maybe a couple of minutes to complete this import process so what we are doing is we are downloading the definition of the agent not the running version so this comes with various internal components that we will explore in the um, upcoming parts in this particular hands-on lab all right so the status have changed it says that the solution has imported successfully with some warnings so there are some translated labels for some languages which could not be imported that is still fine if you want to validate the log there is an option to download the log and look into that if you prefer that do that now what we're going to do is we are going to explore the agent in the microsoft copilot studio what we are going to learn is um, we are going to create a new agent using the natural language prompt that's what i showed you in the beginning um, typing and telling what you want to create and it's going to create for you then once you create the agent there are some components we need to learn things like topics what is topic what is trigger what is message question conditions i will explain all of that in detail then we are going to use copilot to generate and modify the topic and then we will learn how to publish an agent to a demo website for external testing so let's go and do this particular part so how can you create an agent um, like i said go back to your copilot studio homepage click on copilot studio if you are in the solution uh, page uh, we can close this so we just came out to the solution page to just import this now within the copilot studio go click on home and this is the page we are going to use so either you can click on create and you can start the experience there but this is a good place to start so here it says that describe the agent you are trying to create so we are going to create an agent to help onboarding employees and things like that so go to this command box or text box or natural language input box whatever you call it and tell the instruction in your natural language so i'm going to tell create an agent to help me onboard new employees and hit enter now we can see that there is a new experience open so now we are in this agent creation option uh, within copilot studio where you can type in your natural language and it the it is going to respond back to back in natural language to help you create the agent and things like that so it is telling hey hello i'm here to help you build an agent what would you like to make this is what i said create an agent to help me onboard new employees now let's determine the name of that agent how about onboarding assistance so if you like this name then you can say that yes confirm or okay whatever whatever you feels like or if you feel like um getting other suggestions for the name you can tell that hey give me additional suggestions or you can tell that if you have something in your mind you can tell that hey no use this particular name everything is possible so now because i confirmed the name of the agent on the right hand side you can say that it's named into onboarding assistant here on the right hand side you can see that all the activities which is happening um so it says that the agent is going to be onboarding assistant the language which is using um it already adding the description of the agent based on what we provided and the instruction set for this agent we can always click on skip to configure and configure all of that in detail in another window or we can keep on typing and provide more refinement to this agent so now let's define few other things what this agent is going to do now the copilot studio is asking let's define what the agent should do what specific task or goal should the onboarding agent accomplish for example please provide new employee with the company policies and procedures or guide new employees through set up their workstation i'm going to say all of the above but if you have clear instruction in your mind on what this agent should do uh, please provide that up front now it is asking what type of tone this agent should interact with the new employees 
for example, be friendly and supportive or provide clear and concise instruction. I'm going to say that give it an upbeat, friendly tone. All right, so that is accepted. Um, now, it is asking what is the other instruction you want to do. Um, I'm not going to provide any other further instructions. If you notice on the right hand side, based on the input what we have given, it is modifying that details in the summary pane in the right hand side. So what we are going to do is 